Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Number Nine Farms. Today is day 41 of the Three Rivers Challenge, and I'm starting off with making some blueberry muffins. Um, I'm going to be putting uh, two cups of blueberries, and these are some blueberries. I think these ones are from, was it 23? Okay, so I was thinking that there was some from uh, 22 still left in there, and there may still be because we haven't actually um got all of them together yet am i correct yes you're correct okay it could be you, and, every now and then you just find a magical mystery bag yeah well i hope we find a magical mystery bacon <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right so i'm going to put like two teaspoons of flour in here and coat them real well and then i'm going to fold in the um blueberries and then i'm going to get them in the muffin tins I should have mentioned that by you put the uh, flour in with mix around the blueberries first before you put them in there, it helps them from sinking to the bottom. So if you ever cook something and all of the stuff fell down to the bottom, that's why. Um, so like chocolate chips is another one you want to do. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these in the oven now. And you want to have your oven at 375. There. They look delicious over the leftover sausage and made some scrambled eggs with also some the, the uh, habanero cheese. Okay, and I'm using my ketchup. Look at those blueberries. I mm, can't wait. All right, so today we're going to um, do something kind of simple. We got about oh, maybe three hours of pellets left out there. Uh, we're going to do a roast lamb um, or smoked lamb, you want to say. It's a boneless Skinless leg. Yes. Or, or, boneless leg. Yeah. Boneless yeah, leg. Yeah, not skinless. I'm thinking of. Uh, yeah, his skin's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So I've got rosemary on there. We got mustard on there. You, um. According to Bruce, watched a bunch of videos yesterday on it because we actually bought this. Um. And I wanted to show you all the price. It was twenty one dollars. And it was regularly 35 something. Yeah, we had it a long time in the freezer. In fact, I lost it and I couldn't find it. And then I found yeah, it. Yeah, because a couple of times he said, let's get that leg of lamb. But uh, we we love lamb. It's just, it's expensive. Yeah. It is uh, one of our favorites. And thanks to and the pantry challenge, I was able to find it because we went through the freezer so much more. Yeah, and not only that, we, one of the freezers is looking pretty simple. I'm pretty, yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty it's getting, low. Getting thinned out. All right, so I put some mint leaves on, and then I'm going to use some freeze-dried garlic because it's going to make some juice. Um, but you, they, they say to put the uh, mustard on, which I've never tasted a game taste with nope. lamb. Don't okay? know what they're talking about. Or deer. We never. We don't we taste the game. I, yeah, I don't taste any of that. It's probably like Colby says. My taste buds are gone. Um, so I don't know, but I've got some freeze-dried garlic on top, which the moisture from it will um, rehydrate those. Then I've got some freeze-dried onions, which I'm just look, putting these on. This would be just like if I was putting it in the oven for a roast, and um, these things would, you know, get together and marry and do really well taste-wise. And then I've got some freeze-dried peppers. So, and. A lot of times, too, I like to do dehydrated carrots on top, too, and it, they get, like, oh, they just, it's a very good taste. So I'm going to go ahead and put the potatoes on, and I'm going to put the potatoes around the outside. Um, when I was a kid, this is how my stepfather would do a meatloaf. He put potatoes all around it, and that the potatoes would absorb all the hamburger grease. Mm. It was so good. Yeah, Bruce, I don't know. We might eat, we might uh, have not much room left for the carrots. I th it's going to shrink a lot, though. It should. So I just put the carrots all around, too. And was there anything else I was going to... I think that was really it. I brought some of these up because I need to fill up my containers. And uh, when, I try, when I do buy a bunch of herbs and stuff, um, I try to buy in bulk. And I, I know some people say, oh, it's only good for a year. Ah. Not around here, it's not. It's good for... <laughs> Those dates are just, <laughs> they're a novelty. Eternity. If we were to eat food that was out, did not eat food out of date, we would probably starve. <laughs> but um, 
the uh, rosemary leaf is really strong smelling and stuff. And also I'm gonna throw a little bit of salt and pepper on there as well. And I'm about to fill the uh, pepper container up because that is really running low. But look at that. Wow. And you can even drizzle a little bit of oil too if you wanted just to keep that moisture in. All right, so I'm gonna wrap that up. Okay, so this has been long overdue to fill these back up and because if I don't get ready for um, the summer when I'm working all the time, because, you know, I try and like a lot of times, like with the parsley, what I grow and dehydrate will go in there. But a lot of times that's not enough. So Bruce has bought up, brought up some of the uh, seasonings that I'm going to go ahead and get. And then some of these things here that like we don't even know what they are, or what was in them because they they're a couple years old and we've switched to not using anything that has any MSG in it, which I have told y'all that before. And, and gluten. Gone well, gluten, yeah, well. Gluten free, MSG free, and any kind of. Of natural flavoring that yes. we don't know. So we stay away from all that. So if it, it's like some of these were like bourbon, something, and I'm sure it was full of MSG. Some of them have some really crazy chemicals in them. Yeah, so they're, they're gone. They're out of here. I told you I was working, I was working. <laughs> So I have got all kinds of stuff out everywhere, everywhere you see, and all through the getting them out of the cabinets and stuff as well, trying to clean up, getting all the shelves washed so I can get all these jars cleaned up and all filled up for the summertime because, you know, that is the busy season between the markets and the garden and just trying to make product the whole time. All right, I still even have storage up here too, um, so it's pretty cool. And when we first got here at this um, house, the, they had all those little lights that like I showed you in the cabinet in the foyer. All those lights were turned on on these cabinets up here. So it was the first time I had something fancy. Yeah, fancy. We took them down immediately. <laughs> That's where we store our dust at up there in case we need any. Things are getting back together, already started, and getting the shelves, and they're all, the little bottles are all nice and clean, and I have them kind of like grouped and organized, like baking type um, seasonings, and then more like the, the daily stuff right here, and things over here that you use on it, like celery seed, things like that, um, less frequently, but yet would be a savory type thing. Smoker is out there smoking away. The dogs are resting. <laughs> but look what I had to take a break from the spices. And I came in here and put the new rack together. Um, this was 20 bucks for the rack on um, Amazon. So everything looks so good now that it's all um, put together up here. And how I did the bracelets. So these will um, be labeled like that on the back and put the little handmade with love sticker on them and each one of these have the handmade with love as well all right i got all that fixed back up all right guys let's take a peek at this oh boy oh yeah oh yeah it smells really good <laughs> Oh my goodness, it smells incredible. Come on, Bruce. Ah. Perfection. <laughs> That's right. Let's hope. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wow. Look, so you see how the, the freeze dried onions and garlic up there on top? Just oh, yeah, she's way overcooked. What do you think? Yeah, the potatoes are so soft. Look at that. Oh, all these are up here now. Um, they came out of one of the boxes. 
So Bruce has all this um, put on the shelf now. Hey, looky here. Woohoo! Dee 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 dee. So I've got everything all back to where it was. Things how it is with the my organization for what it is and I got all of it but then when other people come and use the kitchen they kind of like don't put them back <laughs> oh I'll be in trouble for that one so everything looks so good now all back filled up the best I could with what I did have. Pretty much I had everything and the rest of it I can pretty much make. Um, these are ones I've done and this here is like one I what I just like something I have small I just grind it up and put in there like some thyme or gin, not ginger um, oregano things I've got out there in the garden not now but in the summer so I'm very happy with it and now Bruce is happy with me too because I got things off the shelf and some stuff in the that was no good gone out for the walk and you won't believe it but there's no snow left hardly at all it's just so it's actually nice because you can walk and you can go actually put some step in your pet <laughs> or pep in your step <laughs> yeah because oops i gotta get out here and get the maple trees um ready for sure so all the ones like that that have the ribbons are ones that we've tapped before but most of the ones we did are over here on this hill and the more sunlight that they can get the more sap you get. So this will be my third year of tapping maple trees. So it's always so nice out here, even though it's looks like every tree and Daggett is down. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. Oh. Wind is really blowing today too. What's that? Yeah. Whoops. There's a lot of cool ones. A lot of unique trees. I love the ones with all the moss. just so the texture everything and this here this piece here that it reminds me of like a seal you see the seal yep. yeah and then this piece over here I've, I've shown this one before a cool mushroom. I'm going to go over there and look, okay? Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. This one here. Yeah, look at this. These really are old. The fresh one I saw up here, I can get up to it. Yeah, look at all of them. Wow, so much detail.
throw some ferns out. King of the Mountain! King of the North! King of the North! King of the North! Ooh. I'm on a hill! And this is a, another little path and it's got a lot of water. And this one here, um, it even has a a lot of trees and this is the one where the um, chaga mushroom is down here and look no we don't beautiful oh here's another unique tree the way it's grown whoops put these old baskets that would have been for feeding deer or um, putting out things for bear because there's a lot of different things here um, apparatuses is <laughs> the one guy said um, but it had Aurora, Illinois on the tag, this old basket, and I love that moss there, and it's grown into the tree, so it's been here for a while, but I find things like this all the time, where people have hunted it over the years. So there, we are finally back. And I'm gonna tell you, it was, it was a long walk. But it makes you feel good, energized, because I am dragging. I am telling you, I'm really tired. I haven't even, I'm still in my pajamas. I think we're gonna eat our dinner and have a movie and a popcorn night, I think. That's yeah, because do. I'm telling you. I'm gonna cook the world renowned group popcorn. Yes, he does make some good popcorn. Always get a job at a movie theater. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. You're probably too old for that. Too. Probably too old to work in a movie theater. <laughs> oh, guys, let's go eat. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. So there's a little netting on it, and you just get that off. Here. Now you can just pull it right off. See? And then you can pull it right out. All right, let me take it. Get that. I can't wait to eat some. Falling apart. All right. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Well, how did we do? Let me get Colby the man is back. Went shopping Kobe. today with his first paycheck. We are so proud of him. Our shipbuilder. Mm. Is that lamb? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's lamb. That's a... It does not taste like a lamb steak. No, it, oh. it does. It would kind of taste like the steak. I put my magic on it. Did it work? It's oh. the mustard. Oh, yeah. That's my snack for movie night. All right. Dinner is served. Just wanted to give you a little update on all the plants and how they're doing. As the cat asks for more food. I do have the fans on now, but I do turn them off at night just in case they won't get dried out. Because now they're they're tall enough now that they don't have to um, have the little cap put back on. So, uh, and soon I'll be doing some transplants, especially on those um, globe artichokes. But look at that. Look how good they look. But I just wanted to tell you guys thank you so much. For watching and everything and it keeps me going keeps me 
motivated here and because until I get back to working at the farmer's market when I don't have time to be slow um, I've enjoyed the pantry challenge so much enjoyed talking with all of you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow thank you again come on Rex <laughs> come on come on say goodbye to everybody goodbye goodbye